Great, how are you guys doing? It's Ray, and as you know, I'm a competition shooter, and as a competition shooter, I shoot a lot. <laughs> and when you shoot a lot, you gotta reload a lot. So the first thing I do when I come home from the range is I clean all my brass. I just, I don't like working with dirty brass. I mean, it wears your dyes down, it just, it's icky, it's just not for me. So I will be using the dry case tumbler by Frankfurt Arsenal. I also wet tumble, but we'll go over that in a different video. I brought up a kit. This is a pretty, pretty cool kit. It comes with everything you see here. It comes with the tumbler, the media separator, corn cob, and even brass polish to make everything look so pretty. And we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this right now. All right, we have the case tumbler first up for assembly. And I have the instruction manual right here. I'm just gonna open it to the page where the case tumbler is for reference. I have the parts kit. I'm just gonna dump it out on the lid so it doesn't roll anywhere. So you will need two items to put this together. A screwdriver, which I have my reload kit right here. Just gonna put that bit on and then also a little adjustable wrench. First thing you'll do, flip this over and it comes with these square washers and you'll just drop it in to these ports right there. And then you'll flip this over and just line those up where you drop those washers. And then you'll have three screws and three little star washers. And just go ahead and put the star washers on the screws. And we're just gonna go ahead and screw in They recommend 10 inch pounds for a quarter to half a turn past bottoming out. That's good. Next hole. So the first time I went reloading, it was really interesting. I uh, always assumed people reloaded for the money saving aspect of it. And then I went to the range with my buddy. And I shot my group, I'm shooting really good. Then I switched ammo. My brother gave me some ammo for Christmas. And my group's just opened up and I was just like, oh, I'm shooting like not so good. And I was kind of down on myself. And my buddy was like, right, put your reloads in. And so I did. And I shot another group at one hole. And I was like, oh, that's great. At the same time, oh, there goes all my time. Because <laughs> I'm a reloader for life now. Just the quality and components you can get and customize to your rifle is amazing. All right, we installed the thing, so just flip it over, and then you put another square washer on this duvet key, three quarters of the way up, screw this to the top, and they say do not over tighten this, be careful. So that is finger tight, and then I'm gonna go down here. And then they say just one eighth of a turn. All right, that looks good. And then the lid goes on. But first, let's go ahead and put the corn cob in. And I went ahead and measured it. It is three pounds. That will matter once we put the brass polish in there. So now it's time for brass polish. This is untreated media, so it says on the instructions to add three teaspoons for each 
pound. I had three pounds in here, so I'm going to do nine teaspoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you let that go for four minutes, and then we're going to toss it. Wait for racetomo. Let's go ahead and assemble media separator. This thing is going to make your life so much more easier. It separates that corn cob from the brass. You don't have to do it by hand. I already used this, so the handle is already installed, but I can attach the lid. Pretty easy. Just snaps in place. And then this closes. Stick the pin right in here. This fits in these grooves. And when you're turning this ball, sometimes the media will kind of fly, and that's where they have these little guards. Uh, a cheater way for me is I always look at the uh, hoarding of the Frankfurt Arsenal, and that faces out. So just snaps in like that. These guards will minimize spillage and it's easy as that. And when you want to take it out, and then I take them a breath. So we're just going to pretend this is done tumbling. I have my basket set up like this. I have the lid kind of hanging over. So when I put the media in the brass, it's not going to spin in here. This is what it looks like when I just dumped it in. All right, so I'm just going to close the lid. Insert that pin. And I'm going to get the guards. Guards facing out. And then I'm just going to... So you can just take out your press right here or you can just take that out and then I pour my media back into the tumbler because I'll be tumbling a little bit too. And that's it. That is the Frankfurt Arsenal dry tumbler kit. It comes with everything you need. Um, the only thing to install it that you need extra is a screwdriver and just a little adjustable wrench. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.